नेक्स्ट पार्ट कंपोजिशन ऑफ टू एस एच एम्स अलॉन्ग द सेम पीरियड सॉरी हैविंग सेम पीरियड एंड अलॉन्ग द सेम पार्ट सो दो एस एच एम पीरियड सेम रहेगा एंड अलॉन्ग द सेम पार्ट वेरी सिंपल मैथमेटिकल पार्ट विल कंसिडर टू एस एच एम पीरियड इज सेम एंड मूविंग अलॉन्ग द सेम पार्ट सो वी कैन से लेट एस ए डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट एस एच एस एच एम एक्स वन इज इक्वल्स टू ए वन साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव वन एम्पलीट इज ए वन इनिशियल फेज एंगल फाइव एंड पीरियड सेम दैट मीन ओमेगा सेम सेकेंड इक्वेशन एक्स टू इज इक्वल टू ए टू साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव टू दिस इज इक्वेशन वन दिस इज इक्वेशन टू एडिंग वन एंड टू एडिंग वन एंड टू विल एड वन एंड टू so i can say resultant shm x is equals to x1 plus x2 x is equals to this plus this a1 sin omega t plus phi1 plus a2 sin omega t plus phi2 using sin a plus b sin of a cos of b plus cos of a sin of b a1 as it is here i can say sin omega t cos phi1 plus cos omega t sin phi1 this this i write below plus a2 this is same way sin omega t cos phi 2 plus cos omega t sin phi 2 equal as it is we'll take common common if you see sin omega t and here it is cos omega t so i'll write this equation as a1 cos phi a1 cos phi plus A two cos phi two and sin omega t is common between this two sin omega t is common so a one cos phi plus a two cos phi this two will have common I'll write here plus a one sin phi a two sin phi two cos omega t is common so a one sin phi one plus a two sin phi two cos omega t common okay equal to sin as it is x is equal to students we'll see about this bracket and this bracket we have this cos function amplitude a1 and a2 we'll assume this as resultant amplitude a1 a2 i'll say a cos function i'll keep as it is cos resultant of initial phase angle phi1 and phi2 we'll say phase angle is delta sin omega t As it is, plus this bracket. A one A two resultant we say A so A sine function as it is and phi one phi two resultant phase angle is delta. This cos omega t as it is where we assumed A cos delta is equal to this. A cos delta is equal to A one cos phi one plus A two cos phi two. And a sine delta is equal to this. A sine delta is equals to a one sine phi one plus a two sine phi two. Let us say this is equation three. This is equation four. Okay. Now, if you see this two, what is common between this two? A a is common in bracket. First, we'll write sine function. Sine omega t. I'll write cos delta. प्लस यहां पे कॉस पहले लिखते कॉस ओमेगा टी साइन डेल्टा दिस इज नथिंग बट वी हैव साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी प्लस डेल्टा इज इक्वल टू एक्स फाइन सो इफ आई सी माय फर्स्ट इक्वेशन एक्स वन इज इक्वल टू ए वन साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव एक्स टू ए टू साइन ओमेगा टी प्लस फाइव टू एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो साइन so sin function sin function sin function that means resultant equation also performing shm amplitude of first is a1 second is a2 resultant amplitude is a 
initial phase angle phi 1 phi 2 resultant phase angle is delta so after composition of two shm resultant also will get the shm with the amplitude of resultant is a and resultant phase angle is delta now we are supposed to find resultant amplitude and resultant phase angle delta so to find to find resultant amplitude say a we'll take equation 3 and equation 4 on squaring and adding 3 and 4 on squaring and adding 3 and 4 we'll square it we'll add it if you see here sky square kya hoga? a square cos square delta plus a square sin square delta cos square delta plus sin square delta is 1 common kya hai ga? a square so i'll write directly a square is equal to this square plus this square means a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 square plus this square a1 sin phi plus a2 sin phi 2 plus square squaring and adding is equal to a plus b the whole bracket square a square plus 2ab plus b square now we will do it directly this square you will get a1 square cos square phi this i'll get 2a1 a2 2a1 a2 cos phi 1 cos phi 2 last bracket we will get a2 square cos square phi 2 now this bracket plus sign i'll write here this is a1 square sin square phi 1 plus 2a1 a2 sin phi 1 sin phi 2 plus this square is a2 square sin square phi 2 fine now see common part is equal to is equals to a square is equal to now common a1 square where is a1 square this 2 if I take a1 square a1 square common in bracket cos square phi plus sin square phi that is equal to 1 so remaining is only a1 square here we'll see first in this case common is a2 square in bracket cos square phi 2 plus sin square phi 2 that is equals to 1 so we'll get a2 square plus common between these two is 2a1 a2 2a1 a2 in bracket we'll get cos phi 1 cos phi 2 cos phi 1 cos phi 2 plus sin phi 1 sin phi 2 is equals to a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 this is nothing but a formula for cos a minus where is cos phi 1 minus cos phi 2 is equals to a square if i take a root of this we will get root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos phi 1 minus phi 2 this is the equation for resultant amplitude this is the equation for resultant amplitude that is root of a1 square plus a2 square plus 2a1 a2 cos phi 1 minus phi 2 now to find resultant phase angle delta to find resultant phase angle delta will divide will divide 4 by 3 4 upon 3 4 upon 3 if I do I will get r sin delta upon r cos delta this upon this is equal to this upon this we get a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 upon a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 rr gate cancel you will get tan delta is equals to this part as it is a sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 upon a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos phi 2 this delta is equals will say tan inverse of tan inverse of this entire bracket a1 sin phi 1 plus a2 sin phi 2 upon a1 cos phi 1 plus a2 cos 
phi 2. This is equation for resultant phase angle. Okay, students.